Hey everybody, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today is a talky video. Some of you have asked me in the comments whether I think skin scents are worth it. So I'll be answering that question. <laughs> and honestly, I think it depends. I think there's no right or wrong answer for this question. It really depends on the person and what they want to get out of their perfumes. So, you know, I know that a lot of people say, I get this a lot <laughs> uh, in my comments, especially saying that skin scents are a waste of money. They don't last. They are expensive. You keep on having to reply, reapply. And what is the point? Uh, well, I can understand that point of view, but at the same time, for me personally, I like changing my perfumes up throughout the day. So I sometimes love wearing scents that only last an hour or two, and then I can put something else on and enjoy that fragrance. Sometimes it's super hot out and I'm not in the mood to have something that is super heavy and is going to last the entire day. I just want something light, fresh and airy and happy, or even just like a burst of happiness <laughs> when I spray something that lasts just a short time. You know, it really just depends on your mood. And um, I do think that there is a place for skin scents in collection. Say, for example, for bedtime, for me personally, uh, if I were to wear something for bed, I wouldn't want to wear something that is just like beast mode and strong and um, something that I will have to smell the entire night and think about and it would be kind of bothering me. Uh, for nighttime, I would probably wear something light and fresh and something that would just, you know, wouldn't make me think about anything, just a nice soft scent that will last a little while and then I can go to bed. So as I said, I think there is a place for skin scents in your collection. And I also think there's a place for your heavy powerhouse, uh, you know, beast mode fragrances as well. It just depends on your mood. It depends on, um, your preferences, of course. It depends on the weather for me. It depends on the time of day. It depends if I'm having a testing day or I just want to wear one fragrance or I want to wear 10 fragrances. It just depends. So to answer the question, uh, do I think skin scents are worth it? I'll say yes uh, for me, but you can totally disagree. I, I would love to hear uh, what you guys think about this topic in the comments there. Uh, do you think skin scents are worth it? Do you own any, any skin scents? Um, do you think they're the waste of money? And I know that for me, well, with skin scents, I think, you know, it doesn't matter what concentration it is. There are skin scents that are uh, EDP concentrations. <laughs> and they're also lighter scents, like say for body sprays or EDTs that last longer than some EDPs. So it really depends. It really just depends. And I don't think that there is a, a concrete answer or right or wrong answer for this question. So I have some skin scents here from my collection that don't last very well on me. They don't last very long at all but I love them so, so much, you guys. Um, I guess with price, um, as there are some expensive niche fragrances that kind of perform badly on skin, again, it depends on chemistry. Uh, it depends on how much you're willing to fork out for these scents that don't last very long. Uh, but the ones that I have, my skin scents here are, they're all affordable scents, and I think that they're fantastic, and I love these ones just as much as some other really expensive niche fragrances that you know don't have great longevity or performance so let's uh go in let's uh i'll show you some of my skin scents in my collection first and foremost we have a gorgeous scent from bath and body works raspberry jam donut uh, i think it's discontinued it's a fine fragrance mist it's phenomenal you guys this smells such like an authentic, realistic, literal raspberry jam donut filling and donut and sugar and it doesn't last at all and I'm just so sad. Well, not really sad because I could just reapply but I really, really hope that they make a perfume of this scent. EDP, I, I would totally 
love that if they did that. So <laughs> if anyone from Bath & Body Works is watching, and I highly doubt they are, please, please, please make this into a perfume because it is out of this world delicious. And it smells really like this. I really like it. <laughs> and I checked the website recently, uh, NL website, um, Bath & Body Works, Netherlands, and it's like gone. So kind of sad because I really enjoy this and um, I do spray a lot of it when I wear it and then it kind of just disappears but when it does for that time that it does last I'm in like swimming in this raspberry jam um, swimming pool <laughs> oh my gosh so it's really delicious and yes this is worth it I bought it for like nine euros it was half price Another skin scent that doesn't last very long, and it's another body mist, body fragrance mist. This is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Charosa 62. This is a yummy vanilla pistachio caramel. Another fantastic gourmand scent. Uh, doesn't last super, super long. They have made a perfume of this which I have not tried, but so many people have told me that this lasts longer, the body mist lasts longer than the perfume, which makes no sense whatsoever. And this is cheaper, so you might as well go for this. <laughs> but yeah, I, I used the um, uh, shower gel of this, shower cream, and it's just so, so yummy. I feel like I'm lathering in like crumbled up vanilla cake, like angel food cake with the icing and everything all just munched together, munched together and like I'm lathering in it. And that's what the shower gel smells like and I love it so much. So uh, I got this for, I don't know, 15, 16 euros. I don't, I'm not really sure anymore, but do I think this is worth it for the little time it lasts? Answer is yes, in my opinion. Now I have some EDCs here, Eau de Colognes. First one here, Aqua Colonia Matcha and Frangipani. About 20 euros. It smells like green tea, citrus, uh, creamy white, creamy yellow Frangipani or white. <laughs> uh, creamy flowers, creamy Frangipani, sweet, delicious. <sighs> it smells like heaven. <laughs> I love tea notes and uh, the green tea in here is phenomenal and then the floral notes. It's very simple scent uh, but very enjoyable, super pretty, garden party, tea party, high tea kind of scent. Uh, is worth it for me that for well, all of these. I'm going to ask say that for everyone. These ones are worth it the, that are skin scents. Uh, matcha and frangipani. Another gorgeous, gorgeous tea scent and eau de cologne from uh, the body shop we have fuji green tea eau de cologne oh you guys this is also such a fantastic budget green tea scent it uh, i think i paid 10 euros for this and it was half off at a body shop sale uh, but you get this nice herbal green tea in here with some citrus uh it's Lasts actually better than an eau de cologne <laughs> and uh, it smells realistic and it's just phenomenal. It's probably the best budget green tea scent out there, even better than the Elizabeth Arden green tea, which I do love that series. Uh, but there's something extra special about this one and it lasts longer than uh, the, the Arden, Elizabeth Arden green tea ones from what I have tried anyway. So beautiful scent, you guys. Get your nose on this if you're into green tea. Fuji green tea is great uh, as a skin scent, mostly. Now I have some EDTs here, eau de toilettes, that don't perform really well, <laughs> but I do love them and I'm happy to have them. This is one of my favorites of this whole year. Uh, one of my most worn, Alien Eau Extraordinaire uh, by Mugler. You guys know all about this one already, I'm sure. It's another tea scent. It's uh, Mugler Alien, really light, fresh, uh, brighter, sparkling. It has tea, bergamot in here, and it just gives you this nice boost of, I don't know, happiness. <laughs> Whenever I wear this, I just feel like uplifted because of how sparkling and shiny and bright this is. And so I got this for 27 euros, 
it's a good deal and uh, I'm very happy with this scent that doesn't last very long. Another EDT that I am in love with you guys is L'Imperatrice uh, from Dolce & Gabbana which is so popular and uh, I've gone through a few bottles of this. Ugh. <laughs> It is a transparent, fresh, watery fruit, uh, watermelon, kiwi. I think there's rhubarb in here too. Uh, so mostly it's a watery fruit, like the fruit juices of a mixed salad with mostly watermelon. And I love how refreshing this is. It doesn't last super, super long, but who cares when it smells so good? <laughs> <laughs> and the feeling, the feeling it gives me isn't like the same idea as how this makes me feel. Uh, refreshing, uh, cooling, delicious, fruity, tart, and transparent, light, perfect for hot, hot, hot summer days. And um, yeah, one of my favorites from this house for sure. Uh, Limperatrice number three, Dolce & Gabbana. And finally, we have an Eau de Parfum version. Sorry, Eau de Parfum fragrance from Zara. This is Citrus Maize. Uh, this is one of my most worn as well for this year. Part of the Zara Rain collection. And although this is classified as an Eau de Parfum, it definitely doesn't feel like it, at least to me, on my skin. It is a skin scent, but it... <laughs> It's another happy, bright, fizzy, refreshing, cooling scent that is mostly lime. So think of lime juice, lime skin, lime rind, uh, the, the pith of rind, and just squeezing that ripe, juicy lime in your face <laughs> or on you. That's basically what it smells like. It smells very uh, realistic lime and uh, yeah. It's an eau de parfum, but no, it's mostly like an EDC, maybe an eau de cologne. It doesn't last, but I spent, I think it was 26, 25, 95 or 26 euros around there for this. And it's still an affordable scent, a skin scent that I think is worth it. Um, but yeah, I love these. So all of these scents are all skin scents. All of them I love. I wear them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate these scents um, just as much as the, you know my fancy expensive heavier dark scents that last like days and days and days um, it just depends on how you feel and how much money you're willing to spend on a skin scent so uh, I went up to an eau de parfum I couldn't think of any extra fragrances that our skin scents. If you guys know of any, let me know in the comments. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's basically my video about um, talking about skin scents and whether I think they're worth it. Uh, there is no wrong, right or wrong answer in my opinion. And uh, that's basically it. And I would love to hear your opinions on this. And I'm rambling now, so I'll stop. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.